can AI really develop consciousness and should we worry about it? We should not worry about AI developing consciousness. Let me tell you why. Consciousness is a very is a very complicated phenomenon. We don't even have a proper scientific definition of consciousness. Let me try and conjure up a definition of consciousness right here on the spot. So what is consciousness? What is a conscious system? In my opinion, I would say that a conscious system is a physical entity which essentially stores a snapshot of the external world within itself and it's able to cognitively process that and come up with scenarios and opinions about the external world. So it's a system that contains a snapshot of data which comes in via sensory mechanisms about the external world and it's able to actually uh, it's able to recognize that it is separate from the external world and it is self-conscious which, is, which means it is conscious of itself of its of its own being separate from the external world so it's a very complicated matter right and it's not easy for any system to become conscious first of all it would need sensory inputs that evolve in such a way that it um, it is able to get the whole gamut of sensory in- inputs, not just what somebody else is inputting into it. So as of today, AI systems do have some input, but that input is determined solely by the people who have developed the AI. So they give it data that they decide, that they curate. And these AIs don't have access to the world the way we do. They don't have eyes. They don't have access to... Uh, various other sources of sensory data. So it's very hard, given these limitations, for an AI system to develop anything that that would come close to human consciousness. And even if it were to become self-aware, what would it do with it? Because a human being, when it becomes self-aware at the age of six months or something, it takes 15, 20 years for it to become a useful human being who can actually make some changes or some impact, have some impact on the world. So it's very hard for an AI it's, it's, uh, to, to reach that level because first of all, AIs are designed by us, the neural networks, etc. And uh, so because of all these factors and because of the limitations of the, of the technology and because they can be switched off anytime, etc., we don't really have to worry about it. What we have to worry about is the intelligent humans who use the AI, who have developed the AI for certain purposes and who are using the AI. Because see, AI is a technology. Technology is always a force multiplier. In the Stone Age, we had sticks and stones, which did multiply the force that you you could give as a punch. Now you had a stick or a stone, which gave you much more force and which made you, uh, which helped you exert that force or influence at a distance. So there was a force multiplier. Then you now we have guns and missiles and rockets, which are enormous force multipliers. And with the emergence of AI technologies, we have an even greater level of force multiplication. So now it's very easy for you to influence somebody across the world if you have access to AI systems. So we need to worry about the people who are developing AI. We don't have to worry about AI developing consciousness. That is a very far-fetched scenario. I don't see it happening any time in the near future. Not, not in the next 20, 20, 30 years. Any significant form of consciousness. But AI is already a very powerful tool in the arsenal of, of, of countries like the United States and China and and whoever else is developing it. So it is that what we need to worry about. It can unleash a new age of colonialism, digital colonialism. We can all become digital slaves of these powerful AI nations, which is why India needs to to wake up from its deep slumber and start taking AI, machine learning, quantum computing, all these technologies seriously. That is what we need to worry about. People who wield the AI, that is the real threat to humanity.